And a lot of times what we overlook is how valuable the relationships are around you. If you're going to accomplish anything on this earth, if you're going to do anything great, or if you just want fulfillment, the number one key, I think, is to take the time to focus on the relationships around you. Welcome to the Sales Wolf Podcast. This is number 133. I can't believe it's been this long. Tyler, my gosh. I am Joseph Caldwell, Tyler, co-host. Tyler with, Harris. With the here. host, Tyler Harris. <laughs> and we are the Sales Wolves. Ow! Man, we want to come hard, fast, and heavy at you quick today. Um, one of the things that you overlook, especially as a sales wolf or especially as a busy person, when you're getting things done and you're, you're, you have these goals and, and you're, you're growing yourself and you're working hard and, and you have all these facets of your life. You're a, you're a mother, you're a wife, you're a, a daughter, a sister, brother, father, son, all the things, right? Mm-hmm. Um, you have all these things going on and a lot of times what we overlook is how valuable the relationships are around you. If you're going to accomplish anything on this earth, if you're going to do anything great, or if you just want fulfillment, the number one key, I think, is to take the time to focus on the relationships around you. Mm -hmm. And what does that mean? What does that mean? Take a little time to make someone feel special for who they are and not what they do, okay? I think a lot of times, this is one of my bigger faults, okay? Because a lot of times with Tyler, man, he's a doer. He's a transactional person. He's, he's one of the hardest workers I've ever seen in my life. And, and I have shown appreciation for what he does. That's what he does, right? But I haven't always shown appreciation for who he is. He's a man of integrity. He's a man with great emotion and feeling and love. Um, doesn't like to be hugged. He's coming out of his shell on the hugging thing. <laughs> I've had to take it one step further. I have started kissing him on the forehead every day. Just to, just, just. To. So I started traveling. So, <laughs> so Tyler started tra- tra- traveling more and more. Um, but I, I can't tell you how, how the relationships along the way mm-hmm. have mattered I didn't know that they mattered in the moment. Yeah. Right. And it's become clear as the, as the, as the game of life unfolds and this relationship, which I nurtured or, or, or I made them feel special for who they are. Um, how that pops up in five years or 10 years. Mm -hmm. And that relationship is literally the keys to the next kingdom, Mm -hmm. the keys to the next kingdom. So I'm going to ask everybody that hears us, hears us today, sit down and take an audit of the relationships in your life. Coworkers, friends, mentors, spouses, children, and think, am I being transactional with them? Do I only praise them for what they do? Do I only appreciate them for what they do? Or do I really try to see who they are? and appreciate them for who they are. Um, I just think that's a key, man. And I, I'm yeah. sorry for doing that with you through the years. I've done that, you know, we were talking before this, I've mm-hmm. done that done that with Nathan and and we've had to work through that and, and I've, I've probably done it worse with Kim um, than anybody, my spouse, and because yeah. we tend to do this to the ones that are closest to us, mm-hmm. right? We tend to we tend to be more insensitive or more transactional with the ones closer to us because it's just a rote, uh, like habit. Yeah. So it's a, it's a habit, and we don't we don't take the time to appreciate them for who they are. Mm-hmm. Um, I did a post the other day, and and the caption was, "You will the greatest impact will be left through people." And the follow up to that was, 
no one will remember you for what you did, but they'll remember you for how you made them feel. That's right. That's powerful. That's right. And that plays into what, what like at my, on my tombstone, mm-hmm. right? Having the dates, I think we've talked about it on here, I can't remember, but having the dates very tiny, because it really doesn't matter when you were born or when you die. It only matters that dash, and I'm not even going to have a dash. I'm just going to have one word. Did I tell you this? I think you have. Um, my dash is going to be in big, bold letters, the words fire. Mm, and everybody yeah. that sees that, it'll mean something different to them. I want my adversaries to see it and go, let me tell you what, he was a worthy adversary mm. in business, right? Um, I want my, my... Hopefully my, it's not a road map. What for where you go for where you went when you died? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's not good. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> dude, I'm gonna bust through them pearly gates, and they're all gonna be like, "Man, we're shocked you're here." <laughs> but, but I want I want you to take a look at it and go, "Man, he he was the most fiery, loyal friend." Yeah, we were business partners. Yeah, we did some really cool stuff and. In business and in life, we travel together. But that word fire represents that love and loyalty that I showed you as a friend. Mm-hmm. Um, that's what I want my friends to be able to see. I want my, my spouse to be able to go, that, was, that fire represents the passionate love of a thousand burning suns. And my kids to look at that and be like, be like my daddy, he loved me. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think that's, a, that's the legacy that you're talking about with yeah. that post that you yeah, did. Yeah. You hit the nail on the head. Mm-hmm. I didn't even see that one. Um, that's awesome. Don't laugh. <laughs> <laughs> that one, that one slipped by. <laughs> that snuck by me. Um, but even, even, you know, people that, that work here with us, um, like Caitlin and, and the job that she does mm-hmm. with, with, and pouring her heart into it and the creativeness and, with which she, and she's fiery, mm-hmm. right? Um, she'll tell you what she thinks. And I love it. I love that about you. I love that. That's a gift, mm-hmm. and uh, man, we appreciate that. And it's not just, it's not just the doing of that. It's the who you are that we appreciate. And I just don't, I don't, I haven't taken enough time to do that. But the relationships, it's becoming more and more apparent to me, um, just how important they are, and whether if they, if if down the road, it's not the keys to the next kingdom. Mm-hmm. You know what I think relationships do is they give you the keys to your inter- your own internal kingdom. Mm-hmm. So having a relationship with you changes my life. Having a relationship with you changes my life and makes me aware. And and awareness is number one key to success in anything. Yeah, um, I agree. But uh, but it's, it it boils down to it boils down to loving people and using things as opposed to loving things and using people. Mm-hmm. And um, I think that's that's super valuable reminder for people. Yeah. Um, and if you're like, well, people just use me. Well, try, try just wearing the mantle of love as, mm-hmm. a, as, a, as a guard on you and loving people, encouraging people. And, and I promise as you put it out there, and you do that repetitively, God or the universe or the laws of reciprocity, mm. they will not be in debt to you forever. In fact, in fact, God refuses. He's yeah. a debtor to no man. Mm-hmm. So when you, when you sow that into people and you continually invest in those relationships, yeah, can you get hurt more? Yeah, yeah, man, I've got some, I've got some battle scars. You got some battle scars? Sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But those but those battle scars when their wounds are tended by the ones you you invested in and they lift you up. Isn't that crazy? I just I it's just been rolling through my head a lot lately. Um it's powerful. And and dude, I love you. I appreciate I you. Um we will not agree on everything. Mm-hmm. And that's okay. Yeah. That's, that's I I don't want to be agreed with. <clears throat> I don't want yes people around me. I yeah. like to hear them disagree with me. Need a cat, um, catfish in there every now and then. Every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> but you have a uh, you have a um, interview here in a second. I do. Yeah, Tyler's yeah. got an interview. 
Um, I can tell you this. I wouldn't want this man's schedule over the next <laughs> 15 months. <laughs> <laughs> Did I just lengthen that a little? It's all right. <laughs> I, just, I just filled out a little bit more of your tombstone. Just, <laughs> <laughs> just put that in year. Just waiting on the date. <laughs> that, that, that. <laughs> oh, man. All right, guys. With that, this is the Sales Wolves Podcast, episode 133. 133. As always, Tyler Harris, Joseph Caldwell, and we are the Sales Wolves. Uh,